And we are clear over the radar. We're going to stay that way for the rest of your weekend. It's going to be a nice and sunny day, a cool one. We're going to start off with temperatures in the mid 30s right now. So if you have any plans to head out in the near future, it would be a wise to grab a jacket. It is quite cold. I'll have more on how long this is going to last coming up in just a little bit. Now on Good Morning Augusta, some Georgia farmers are having a tough time recovering from a string of natural disasters, and now they're filing for bankruptcy. Details as your number one source for local weekend morning news starts right now. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. And it's 7 o'clock. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sean Cabbage-Stock, and well, 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 look who decided to join us today. Hey, it's been a great month of October. Uh, not, yes, sir. Not necessarily working in the morning. I have been working just in other places, but it's good to be back in the morning, Sean. Yeah, and you brought some chilly temperatures with you today I, as well. I did. I figured being from the north, I would, you know, bring a little influence back <laughs> down with Thanks me. Thanks a lot. Uh, but these colder temperatures are going to last uh, through the most of the morning. Morning, as you can see on the Jiffy Lube Skyview Network, plenty of sunshine. We have clear skies. It's going to be a nice morning as we go through uh, the rest of your day. Temperatures will slowly start to warm up. We're going to see uh, temperatures climb into the mid to upper 50s today. But right now, the high pressure system up by DC is bringing in that colder air. So that's why we are seeing a, a quite a bit of a temperature drop. 35 degrees right now in Augusta. Birmingham's at 30. Nashville's at 25. So everybody is absolutely freezing right now. Luckily, we're going to warm up. We'll be close to 60 degrees, a mostly sunny day. We are going to see that tomorrow. Tomorrow too. It's going to be again cold start today and tomorrow and that's going to change just a little bit once we get into Sunday evening and Monday. It's going to uh, actually feel pretty nice on Monday but we got some changes coming up Tuesday bringing in some more colder air. I'll have more on that coming up in a little bit. Sean. All right, Alice, thank you so much. New on Good Morning Augusta, the Richmond County Sheriff's Office is investigating following a two car wreck in Hepzibah. The incident happened in the 4500 block of Brothersville Road just before 6 this morning. Right now, Story Mill Road is completely blocked. Count on News Channel 6 to keep you updated on this developing story. Authorities in Allendale, South Carolina, have made an arrest in an armed robbery. Odrell Mays is charged with armed robbery. We're told the charge stems from an incident at Human's Package Store. That incident happened back in October. He's currently being held at the Allendale County Detention Center. Money is a growing concern for farmers across the state of Georgia still trying to recover from natural disasters. The number of Georgia farmers filing for bankruptcy in the state is among the highest in the country. Our Devin Johnson reports. There's a growing problem happening on Georgia farms. It's not the crops causing the issue, it's the number of farmers filing for bankruptcy. Farmers are trying to recover from the brutal weather, tariffs, and lingering effects. In a report published by the Farm Bureau, farm debt in 2019 is projected to be at a record high at $416 billion. You know, we're kind of at the mercy of whoever brokers our crop. And so many times somebody said, well, this is what we're going to offer you. And you go, that's below break even, but it's the only price that's out there. So you have to take it. The state of Georgia is in the top 10 with 37 total farm bankruptcy filings over 12 months ending in September. The owner of Bond Blueberry Farms tells me some of his colleagues are suffering. It's like losing a child. It's fading away. What can you do to get them back? And that's what's on your mind is what can you do? Because that's your future. That's what you love. Bond says even though millions of dollars in assistance have been awarded, Many farmers are still waiting for federal aid, but he says that money is not going to dig them out of the hole. So many times we wait till too late and all of a sudden you've forgotten what you did the year before, even though you've got numbers and you're looking at them. You know, you need inventory. You need to know exactly what's going on with your farm so you can project the, for the future. And pecan farmers are still trying to recover from the impact of Hurricane Michael. You cannot put a tree that's been knocked down and then pick, just push it back up into place and expect it to do the same production because you've lost half of your roots. Blueberry farmers took a huge hit when freezing temperatures impacted crops back in 2018. Vine says they still need to plan for the season. The, ener the plant has energy. What are you doing with that energy? And if it's sitting there going to waste and it's not setting fruit, it's going to hurt you financially in the spring. And we all are watching that. And that was Devin Johnson reporting. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports payments have been made on about 18% of Georgia applications, which have now risen to more than 2,300 applications.
The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is expanding its cyber department. Officials say they have handled more than 4,800 cyber tips for the state last year. The Department of Justice says the number of cyber tips sent to the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force have increased by 555 percent since 2010, which have helped investigations, and you can help too. Look at your child's phone, know what they're doing, know what apps are on. I've had children as young as eight sending videos and pictures of themselves to adult men. And parents are devastated when they find out because they don't believe their eight-year-old child would even do that. And the GBI is in the process of hiring four more digital forensic investigators to bring their total to seven. Authorities in Atlanta say they have found the body of missing Clark Atlanta student. The last time Alexis Crawford was heard from was October 30th. The 21 year old's body was found Friday in an Atlanta area park. Atlanta police say that the suspects are Crawford's roommate and the roommate's boyfriend. Officials say one of the suspects led authorities to the body. The street next to Fleming Park has been named for the boy who was killed after he touched an electrified fence at the park last year. Melquan Way is named for Melquan Robinson. It runs adjacent to Fleming Park. The street naming is part of the settlement that the boy's family reached with the city over the electrocution. A memorial will also be built at the park. People living in North Augusta will soon see a change when it comes to recycling. The city garbage crews will continue to pull recyclable material from the garbage that comes through the material recovery facility. But the blue bag program is ending effective January 1st. City leaders say the change will help lower expenses and offset an increase in the current monthly recycling fee. The blue bag program was to take and collect the material and then it was to be mixed in with your solid waste to in essence so that way we just have one truck one can uh, and the bag acted as a protector um, and now with processing equipment that we've installed it's made the basically the blue bag um, really not as needed. In the city, we'll still pick up those blue bags after January 1st if you have them. There is a location available for you to drop off recyclables. You can find that address on WJBF.com. Some South Carolina residents may be getting a little something extra in the mail soon. Palmetto State officials have begun mailing out $50 rebate checks to eligible taxpayers. The money comes from $61 million in tax income that was paid by the winner of a $878 million lottery prize last year. Propon opponents rather of the rebate says that the money might be better spent on raises for teachers or other state workers. The opening ceremony for the Golden Blocks project will take place today. It's from 2.30 to 3.30 at the lecture hall of A.R. Johnson on Laney Walker Boulevard here in Augusta. The program includes remarks from community leaders and performances by local artists. Golden Blocks project is an art collaboration effort by the Lucy Laney Museum of Black History, the City of Augusta, and the Greater Augusta Arts Council. The Earnhardt Pharmacy Fall Winter Open House is happening today from 9 until 2. Vendors include crafts, canvas paintings, clothing, and accessories. That pharmacy is located on Broxton Bridge Road in Earnhardt. Each year, suicide claims more lives than war, murder, and natural disasters combined. It's the fourth leading cause of death for people between the ages of 15 and 64. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and the Out of the Darkness Walk raises awareness and gives support to survivors of suicide loss. The Aiken Walk is coming up Sunday, November 10th from 2 until 4 at the Odell Week Center. For more information, look for this story on WJBF.com. A Christmas celebration is coming to the CSRA next month. Details after the break. And we're going to start off today chilly. It's going to last till about lunchtime. Temperatures are only going to make it into the upper 50s, but we'll see plenty of sunshine. It'll be a very nice day, albeit a little chilly to start it. We'll have more coming up after the break. Kids say the darndest things is delightful, hilarious, and infectiously unfiltered. I'm 21 going on 21 right now. You seem older. I look pretty good. New Kids Say the Darndest Things after AFV ABC Sunday. I hope you like it. Worlds collide on the CMA Awards with can't miss collaborations. Pink and Chris Stapleton, Lady Antebellum and Halsey, Garth Brooks with Blake Shelton, and more. Phenomenal. The CMA Awards live Wednesday on ABC. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, hors d'oeuvres, fondueurs, and flambeurs. 
midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. Just Vans, it feels so good. The biggest Veterans Day sale is at family-owned Just Beds. Save up to 50% store-wide. Luxury Simmons Queen Mattress is now just $3.99. Just Beds is the CSRA's adjustable base headquarters. And right now, save up to $800 on Luxury Beauty Rest mattresses and adjustable sets. Buy in-store or online and get free next-day delivery, plus five-year 0% financing. Nobody stocks more or sells for less than family-owned Just Beds. This is where my accident happened. I was just coming home from work. This is what my car looked like. I knew there was no repairing it. This is what I looked like after the accident. It was such a long recovery process. It was a lot to handle, but George Sink Injury Lawyers was there. I'm attorney George Sink, and we know how difficult life can be after a car wreck. We're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you've been in a car wreck, this is the number to call, 999-9999. Have a car, a title, you can get up to $10,000 with Title Max. Go to TitleMax.com and enter your car year, make, and model. See how much you could get. Check out TitleMax.com for the most cash you need. Check out TitleMax.com and shop us for rates. Check out TitleMax.com, all credit types accepted. Find out why so many people say, I got my title back with Title Max. I got my title back with Title Max. Get your title back with Title Max. Here. Okay. It gives you like 10 degrees of protection, which is nice. It gives you that light area. Story time? Sorry. That's my bedtime. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Giving one. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Wait, how did you guys? Don't ask. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Get 0% APR for 60 months on all 2019 models. Experience amazing to your Lexus dealer. And we are under a freeze warning until 9 a.m. today. We are under a freeze watch until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we are going to continue to see these morning temperatures around or below the freezing mark. So if you're heading out anytime before lunch, just grab that jacket. Even though it's going to be sunny, it will be cold. John, over to you. And I have my jacket. Thank you. And it's that time again. It's that time of year again to start thinking about Christmas. A Christmas celebration is coming to Augusta in December, and joining me to talk about it is Dr. Shatonda Kelly. Hello. Nice to see you again, Hello. my friend. Thank you for having us. No problem. So let's get right to it. So it's the stuffing, stockings, and filling hearts event. So what can yes. we expect? We're expecting to give, of course, it's being Christmas. We have um, adopted some three and four year olds. Hmm. So it's our goal to um, collect 350 stockings filled with toys, filled with goodies, and filled with something special to not only nurture um, their flesh, but to nurture their spirits as well. So I we're like excited this. about it. It's December 7th yeah. at Transforming Bible Life Church. I want to say thank you so much to our community outreach partners, Pastor Kendrick, who has opened their doors. And we have a stellar lineup. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Yeah, and my pastor from Charleston, South Carolina is a part of that yes, as well, James Apostle Pinckney. Apostle James Pinckney and Voices of Faith, um, they'll be fighting on during that. I know, that's singing, right. Singing their latest single, but we're excited. We have um, from uh, Sunday's Best, yeah. Seasons 9, wow. uh, Keila Richardson. Yeah. She'll be joining us, Stella Award winning uh, Keith Wonderboy Johnson, who also has some ties to Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah. Um, Damon Little, Isaac Curie. Oh, we're excited about that. Plus, Brian Andrew Wilson, Latrice Pace, Angela Moss Poole, Lamont Sanders, Son of Faith, Calandra Gant. We are so excited. So, um, it's free for the three and four year olds. Yeah. Yes, but it's 1380 and a stocking stuffer. We're asking people to um, help us stuff the stockings and fill the heart. So, this is going to be something for the family mm -hmm. um, that's going to minister to their mind, their body, and their spirit. Yeah, and why was it so important for you to put this on? here in Augusta? Well, it's, it, you know, and during this time, uh, finances is very stressful, mm -hmm. especially this time of the year. And um, three and four year olds, um, you know, their parents are trying to, you know, to get them in school, trying to summer uh, uh, grandparents who are raising these grandbabies. And, yes, and so um, when the idea came to me, a young lady asked me, um, can you help us do a campaign here? And I'm like, of course. Not thinking that, you know, God would have me to do it on this magnitude. Yes, ma'am. 
Um, WNR, we're so excited. We're rooted in this community. We're five years old. And um, just yesterday, our, our sister station went up. Yeah. So now I'm the GM of two stations. Two stations. <laughs> yes, 1380 and 93.3 FM. So that's why it's important. We want to give back to the community. And um, these are our leaders of tomorrow. Yes, you know? So we want to impart in them now so that we make a, a, a big impact in, the, in their world. Sounds good. And give us the location for the event one more time. Okay, it's 2439 Peach Orchard Road in the city of Augusta, Georgia. Um, it's Transforming Lives Bible Church, where Pastor Kendricks is the pastor. Again, they open up their doors to WNRR, and we're so excited about them being our community uh, outreach partner and making this a possibility because it's going to start at 5, red carpet at 4 o'clock. We're going to have some fun, Sean, and you got to be in the place. I need to be one of the numbers. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank you for being thank here, Dr. Kelly. So I appreciate it. And we'll be right back. It's the final days of Ashley Home Store's Veterans Day Sale. Hurry in and save up to $1,000 off store-wide. Plus, get up to 40% off hot buys, like this sofa or this dining table for just $3.99. It's a salute to savings at Ashley Home Store. This is home. Want to take your X5 to the next level? Now you can with X5 Vantage, giving you enhanced performance and protection. When devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi, they're protected, helping keep outsiders from getting inside. Plus, you get unlimited data, so you can stream, surf, and game all you want. With confidence, you can get coverage where you need it most. That's X5 Vantage. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months, or get four times the speed for just $10 more a month. Call, click, or visit a store today. It is time for the game! Kino, that's easy. I pick 10 numbers, Kino picks 20. Match, match, match. Perhaps we cool things down a bit. Get it, Kevin. That's right, the more I match, the more I win! Win up to $100,000 every three and a half minutes playing Kino. Ashley Home Store's Veterans Day mattress sale is going on now. Save up to $600 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Plus, get 50% off Ashley Sleep and Sealy Response mattresses, too, at America's number one furniture and mattress store, Ashley Home Store. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. And a look at the Jiffy Lube Skyview Network over Washington Road. It is a nice sunny morning out, not a cloud in the sky. We're expecting it to stay nice and clear for your Saturday. Temperatures are nice and crisp, very cold right now. We're expecting uh, to, to stay that way for the rest of your morning. As you, again, can see, nothing in terms of precipitation on the radar, and, and that's going to basically be the, uh, the way it's going to be until at least Monday. It's going to be pretty nice getting into the beginning of the week, but temperatures right now at 35. Five degrees, 32 in Aiken, 28 in Saluda, very cold up there, 35 in Millen, 36 in Swainsboro. So we're all in that mid 30s range, give or take a handful of degrees, but we are getting that wind out of the northeast. So that colder air, that's where it's coming from. Uh, and it's uh, going to stick around. It's going to take a, a little bit of a, uh, a change for that to slowly start to push it out of the area. But as you can see, we have cold alerts until 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, freeze warning until 9 a.m. We also have a freeze watch until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So for us, we're already under the watch. As you can see, you can't see it yet, but we're going to have temperatures again tomorrow morning. Uh, just about 
at freezing, maybe a little bit below. But 57 for your high here in Augusta, 56 in Aiken and Edgefield, and Saluda maybe a degree or two colder. 60 degrees for Allendale, Bamberg, Barnwell, maybe around that area too. We're mostly all going to see those upper 50s. Plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a very nice day. We might actually get a degree or two warmer because we're going to see a lot of this uh, rain, or excuse me, a lot of this sunshine, but uh, temperatures won't get too much closer to 60 degrees as you go uh, through the rest of the uh, CSRA. High pressure system is what's driving our weather right now, and that's going to continue uh, as we go into Saturday night into Sunday morning. This high pressure system is going to start moving off of the coast, and as it does Sunday, we're going to get a quick influence of southern, uh, a southerly air, so that's going to warm us up really quickly in the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the mid-60s for Sunday. It's going to be a quick warm-up because we're going to see temperatures in the 30s, but as we get through the rest of Monday, then that front set up and as we go through Monday night into Tuesday that dips down and about four o'clock we'll see some rain. I don't think we'll see any of the snow but the back end of this is going to be another chilly one. Temperatures uh, are going to be around 27, 28 degrees in the morning on Wednesday. So uh, if you ha have any plans this uh, week just make sure Tuesday keep an eye on the radar. Wednesday and Thursday they're going to be chilly as we get into uh, the end of your work week. But taking a look at your seven day 58 degrees for today. It's going to be uh, another cold one, quite uh, frosty in the morning uh, for Sunday morning. And then Veterans Day looks like it's going to be a really nice day. Temperatures in the low 70s. We'll see sunshine. It'll be a little warmer. And then that front will move through Tuesday. And Sean, again, I brought some cold weather. Yes, you 27 did. 27 degrees for your low My Wednesday Lord. morning. So if you have one of those automatic car starts, you might want to use one of those to turn the car on before you head outside. I wish I did. I wish I did, too. <laughs> I have to run outside and actually do it. Gosh, darn it. Well, it's raining monkeys in Florida. And nursing home residents in Iowa get a visit from a 2,000-pound guest. It's caught on camera, and it's up next. This patty melts is loaded. Beef patty, grilled onions, melty cheese on Texas toast. I propose a toast. Oh, awesome. Peter, you're dull. Okay, this feels more like a roast. Ah, I propose a roast. Grab a patty melt while they last and order ahead for happy hour anytime. And up, down, jumping jacks again, go up. Don't forget to breathe. Down. Your granddaughter bought you a new car? Hey, Gigi, check it out. Oh, this kid gets me. And there's a hot tub in the back! <laughs> Come on in, ladies. Water aerobics with, uh, these guys. <laughs> Have mercy. Your life could be exciting enough. If not, play Powerball. Brakes for Less is the home of the $159 four-wheel brake job. We're talking brakes on all four wheels of any car, truck, or SUV. Fast in-and-out service. A parts and labor guarantee. All for $159. Plus, if you want to save even more, mark your calendars for midweek because everyone wins on Wednesday and you get 15% off. Nobody beats the Brakes for Less deal on brakes. Now open on Washington Road in Martinez and Peach Orchard Road in Augusta. It's the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale and we're celebrating in style. Choose your Perfect look, like this sectional, just $9.99 or $17 a month interest-free. Save on beautiful rooms like this for $15.95 or $27 a month. Shop our incredible selection room by room and bring home dining sets like this or this with fast delivery. At Rooms to Go, you get both great sale prices and 60-month interest-free financing. Now during the Rooms to Go holiday sale. The sizzle is back. Hurry into Bojangles and get two pork chop griller biscuits for just $5. Our savory grilled pork chop seasoned with a special dry rub with a little zip and a whole lot of flavor. Served sizzling hot on a Bojangles fresh buttery biscuit. That's enough flavor for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. For a limited time, try two of our pork chop griller biscuits for just $5. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Bacon mac and cheese bites are the perfect comfort snack. I needed some comfort, man. It's been a tough day. What'd you do? Well, I only got 10 hours of sleep. Oh. Get them while they're hot. Bacon mac and cheese or chili cheese bites are $2.99. 
and temperatures are going to be around that 58 degree mark, but we'll see plenty of sunshine. You know, as you head out the door today and tomorrow, make sure you grab that jacket. It is going to be quite chilly out in the mornings, but it's going to be nice and sunny, so enjoy your weekend. I definitely will. I'm time to take a look at caught on camera. A man enjoying a day at a Florida park almost went bananas when monkeys started falling from the sky. Lucky for us, he caught it all on camera. Jeremy Roth has more. A kayaker was quick to start recording when it started raining monkeys in Florida. Rod Gein was relaxing on the water in Silver Springs State Park when he heard something. It was like a loud clapping, like belly flop sound. That was the sound of scores of monkeys diving into the water from the tall trees above. Gein sat there mesmerized by the display before he realized he had a camera. It took me a little bit to remember there's a phone here, I could be getting this on video. He says the monkeys were being forced from the trees by larger males. The park is home to about 300 rhesus macaque monkeys, which are native to Asia. The species is known to carry disease, which can be spread to humans, but Gein was able to maintain a safe distance and take in the wildly unusual sight. Most days at this Iowa retirement home are no doubt pretty chill. But then again, most days there isn't a 2,000 pound bull roaming the halls. The former bucking bull named Olay was the guest of honor at Southern Hills in Osceola. His handler, rodeo clown Jason Dent, brought him by just to spread a little joy. Residents quickly gathered to give pets and even kisses, and a few even dared to take a ride. Oh yeah, I like this, what could possibly go wrong? Don't worry, Jason has liability insurance. Jason's hoping his goodwill will come full circle when it's his turn to retire. I just hope uh, by putting it out there, somebody will do that for, for me when I get there. For Take a look at this. I'm Jeremy Roth. And I do want to go back to the monkeys for just a second. They were just monkeying around, so yeah. nothing wrong with that, yeah, right? Yeah, I feel like some of those uh, nursing home people, when they heard the bull was coming, they're like, ah, this bull. <laughs> I'm tired Gosh. of bull. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. All right, well, coming up on Good Morning Augusta, President Trump made a stop in the Peach State yesterday to win the African-American vote. We have a look back at his visit coming up. But first, let's send it to New York, where Whit Johnson is standing by with a look at what's coming up on Good Morning America. Good morning, Whit. Good morning. Coming up here on GMA, Bolton tips his hand. A lawyer for the former National Security Advisor saying John Bolton may have relevant information in the Ukraine investigation. Congress's next moves, the latest testimonies, and what it all means for the impeachment inquiry. Plus, bitter blast, cold moving across the country this weekend. Cities from Texas to New England feeling the chill. And believe it or not, it's going to get even colder. And finally, Pat Sajak recovering from emergency surgery. A Wheel of Fortune host canceling tapings of his show, how he is doing, who's filling in, and his road to recovery. That's all ahead here on GMA. In the mood for a taste of the old Southwest, Artie's new Southwest patty melt comes with a hotter, juicier Black Angus thick burger, pickled jalapenos, melted pepper jack cheese, and zesty Santa Fe sauce. yippee ki -yay. Artie's new Southwest patty melt. It was time to update the bathroom. But we didn't want to break the bank. Rebath made it effortless. A Rebath design consultant came to our home and presented us ideas and products in a way that made our decisions simple. They took away the old, installed the new, and gave us the bathroom. We've always wanted style affordably. Call 706-907-0035 and save $500 off your tub or shower update. Oh. 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 People with type 2 diabetes are excited about the potential of once-weekly Ozempic. In a study with Ozempic, a majority of adults lowered their blood sugar and reached an A1C of less than 7 and maintained it. Oh, under 7. And you may lose weight. In the same one-year study, adults lost on average up to 12 pounds. Oh, up to 12 pounds. A two-year study showed that Ozempic does not increase the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke, or death. Oh, no increased risk. Ozempic should not be the first medicine for treating diabetes or for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not share needles or pens. Don't reuse needles. Do not take Ozempic if you have a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Ozempic. Stop taking Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, itching, rash, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects may happen, including pancreatitis. Tell your doctor if you have diabetic retinopathy or vision changes. Taking Ozempic with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase the risk for low blood sugar. 
Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. I discovered the potential with Ozempic. If eligible, you may pay as little as $25 per prescription. Ask your health care provider today about once-weekly Ozempic. Need help waking up, cowboy? Well, say good morning to hearty Southwest omelet biscuit and burrito with cheesy eggs, bacon, and just enough jalapenos to make you sit up in the saddle. Pick up either for just three bucks, now at Hardee's. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. And it's 7.30. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Sean Cabbage, talk alongside meteorologist Alex Moore. And good morning, Sean. Hey. I see you made it in. Did you bring your jacket? I did. It is, it's at my desk. It's freezing cold outside. I think right now it's 35 degrees. The winds are out of the north, northeast, and that's going to continue to keep us cold for the morning today and tomorrow. But plenty of sunshine with it. So, I, like you know, it. one of those double-edged swords where I guess you got to just deal with it with at the least, cold. At least we don't have any snow. So right. No snow. That's a nice part. But plenty of sunshine over the uh, CS, uh, excuse me, SRP Park, 35 degrees, like I said, the winds out of the north, northeast, around eight miles an hour. So we're gonna continue to see uh, colder uh, uh, conditions for the morning. Our high pressure system is driving the weather. That's why we have plenty of sunshine. 35 degrees here in Augusta, 30 in Birmingham, 25 in Nashville, 27 in Little Rock. We won't quite get that cold, but we are going to continue to see temperatures right around that 30 degree mark in the mornings and today and tomorrow. But we are expecting to see temperatures in the upper 50s, plenty of sunshine. Again, it's a cold start to the day today and tomorrow. Those winds out of the northeast will keep things nice and chilly for the day. But as we get into Sunday and Monday, you'll start to feel a little bit of a difference. It's going to start feeling maybe a tad bit like spring, so we won't stay quite as cold for very long. But on the back end of that, we have some more rain and colder temperatures coming. I'll have more on that coming up in a little bit. Sean. All righty. Thank you, Alex. And today marks the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. The wall enclosed West Berlin from 1961 to 1989 in an attempt to prevent East Germans from fleeing to the West. It became a symbol of East-West relations during the Cold War. The wall began as a border of barbed wire fencing and evolved into a fortified concrete barrier with armed East German, German guards protecting it. To prevent attempts to scale the wall or escape by digging underneath, the wall was reinforced with barbed wire, spikes, bunkers, and vehicles made into obstacles. Back here at home, our president, Donald Trump, rallying voters in Georgia. The president took in a rally called Black Voters for Trump Friday afternoon. Our Atlanta bureau chief, Archif Shashadri, has more. President Trump speaking to a crowd in Atlanta for about an hour, urging African-American voters to vote for him in 2020. He used his opportunity to talk about his accomplishments over the last three years. In fact, three years to the day when he was elected as president, saying take a chance on him and see what he's already done. Lowering the unemployment rate, creating nearly 7 million jobs, lowering the number of crime-related deaths in this country, as well as lowering the poverty level. Nationwide, 58% of murder victims under the age of 22 are African American. America is waking up to the Democrat Party's record of suffering and neglect. That's what it is. They want your vote. They're nice to you just before the election, and then they forget about you for four years or two years or six years or whatever it may be. He says that African Americans are crucial and they should be given the same opportunities as Americans and more needs to be done and he will be their president. He also talked about how he wants to bring jobs and keep them in the United States instead of shipping them overseas. He's real to me. I mean, he says what other people think and I like that about him. He, the, some of the things he says like he loves America, he loves Americans. That's, I love America, I love Americans. He said everybody's welcome to come in, but you just can't come in illegally. I support that too. So there's common sense issues. I think he's a, a real, and he's doing a lot for America, business, and for our minorities. He's delivered on every promise he's made. What he said was just the absolute truth that the African American community has been forgotten by the Democrat Party, and all the things that he said, uh, the unemployment, the crime, the lack of education, all those things that the Democrat Party have been promising to do for the last 60 years. They have done absolutely none of it. As a matter of fact, things have gotten worse. It was a feeling, a sense of community, 
Um, I felt like the dividing wall of ethnicity just really wasn't there because we were all here as patriots. We're all here as one people with one goal in mind, which is to see America prosper and to see America be great again. The crowd inside was excited, they were empowered, they were enthusiastic, wearing Make America Great Again hats. They also were chanting four more years. But outside the World Congress Center, a different situation with anti-Trump rallies and protesters saying this president needs to be impeached, that he's an embarrasser and he is not someone they want in office for the next four years. So certainly a divide here in Georgia and Atlanta when it comes to the president. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Tashadri, WJBF News Channel 6. And decades of family traditions and splash of color are on display at Riverview Park Activity Center today. It's a part of a show by Peaceful Hearts Quilters Guild of North Augusta. The Guild has an expedition every year, every other year rather, with 70 quilters with creations on display and 15 vendors. The show started Friday and will run today from 9 until 4. Admission is 7 bucks for adults and free for anyone 12 and under, accompanied by an adult. The second annual Unite in the Fight Against Cancer Walk is happening today as well. The 1.5 mile walk will celebrate and honor all those who have been impacted by the disease. The event represents all forms of cancer with each participating individual or team selecting a cancer and wearing the corresponding color in honor or memory of a loved one or friend during the walk. The registration starts at 8 and the walk begins at 9 at the Lucy Craft Laney Memorial Stadium. The event is hosted by and supporting the Georgia Cancer Center at Augusta University. Registration for the James Brown Turkey giveaway continues today. Registration begins at 9 at May Park in Augusta. This is the second of three Saturdays you can register. Just bring a valid ID and proof of residence with your utility bill. The final day you can register is next Saturday. You may not realize it, but Cuffing season is now upon us. And if you aren't sure what that means, we'll explain after the break. And those colder temperatures are going to stick around for the morning. We are going to see the 30s until about uh, 9 or 10 o'clock. Then we'll see the 40s until lunch. Our high will be in the upper 50s. But we'll see plenty of sunshine, so it will be a nice day outside of the cold. We'll have more when we return. Live Viper 6 Skyview Network. Powered by Jiffy Lou Multicare. This week on Local Living, we speak with the Housing Community Development Department, visit a brand new store that just opened in Augusta, then it's off to see the Tactical Advantage Sportsman Complex at Fort Gordon, and then we find out about the Junior League of Augusta. Local Living, Saturday morning at 9.30 on News Channel 6. Accidents happen, but what if you could turn back the clock? At Kelly Paint and Body in Aiken, you can. Your car will look even better than before. You'll get high quality automotive repair and superior customer service every time. Come see why we're known for honesty, integrity, and a lifetime guarantee. Kelly Paint and Body, like it never happened. 866 York Street in Aiken or on the web at kellypaintandbody.com. Storm season is upon us, and if your home feels the wrath of Mother Nature, Crosby Roofing, Gutters, Siding, and Windows has your home covered. Commercial or residential, no job is too big or too small. Count on Crosby for the care and repair of your home exterior. Trust Crosby for a clean job site, no upfront fees, and a lifetime warranty on shingles. For a free inspection and estimate, call or click now. Crosby Roofing, Gutters, Siding, and Windows. Quality you can look up to. Is this iMart Express? Yes. Do you really have over 2,000 frames to choose from? Yes. Do you have quality frames at affordable prices? Yes. So I can walk out of here with two pairs under 40 bucks? Yes. I can get my glasses today, every day. Yes. Can anyone else guarantee selection price and speed? No. With prices this low, you don't need insurance. iMart Express. Bright glasses. Right price. Right now. Are the holidays big at your house? Good, because we're offering you some huge Black Friday discounts. The more furniture you buy, the more you save. Your guests would love a new mattress. Everyone will admire your new sofa. And your family will feast on your new dining room. And all month long, save an extra $100 for every $1,000 spent. Plus, save an additional $100 on purchases over $24.99. Can you get huge Black Friday savings at Weinberger's Furniture? Yes, yes you, you can. can. 
And this weekend's going to be very sunny. We should stay dry Saturday and Sunday. As we get into Monday, Veterans Day is going to be nice, 71 degrees for your high. We'll see some rain once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, the cold returns, which means it'll be great weather, great cuddling weather for cuffing season. Isn't that right, Sean? Uh, I think so, because you know we're officially in cuffing season right now. And that term describes the period from October to March when people couple up. Taylor Murray talk to folks in Charleston, South Carolina about why and how they're finding love during the peak of cuffing season. Maybe you're experiencing this now, a deep longing for someone to cuddle up to and walk through town hand in hand. People nationwide admit to feeling this way when the weather turns brisk and the leaves begin to fall. It's, it's cuffing season. Locals say it's well underway here in the low country. You know, you just want to cuddle up next to the fire and be warm and drink hot chocolate and watch funny movies with somebody. That yearning for romantic connection arising in the colder months. Cuffing season runs until spring brings the heat back. You know, just to survive the winter, being being by being next to someone physically, emotionally. But why do we crave intimacy and relationships more during cuffing season than other times of the year? Relationship therapist Jessica Gregg says the term is new, the feeling isn't. We have a longing to have someone safe and secure to be with, and that is primed when we're inside, when it's dark, when historically it's cold and scary outside, and we, we need that's when it's most heightened how much we want that in our lives. And with holidays approaching, people want someone to make memories with. And to help them avoid those nagging questions from family, are you ever going to get married? Are grandkids on the way? Singles say having a significant other makes sense this time of year. There's like more fun activities to do in the winter time, like go make gingerbread houses or go pumpkin picking. So I think that's one reason people love to like use the term cuffing season and like find a relationship when it gets colder. Many of the locals I spoke with say they're using dating apps to meet people, but don't write off meeting that special someone the old fashioned way. Maybe you wouldn't normally say hi to the cutie you see on King Street, but take a chance. It's cuffing season and they may be wishing for someone just like you. And that was Taylor Murray reporting. See you in a bit. We're back in less than three minutes. In real life, car accidents are no game. Injuries are serious and lives can be destroyed. You need money. You need medical care. And there is no button that gives you a second chance except this one. Call attorney John Foy and Associates. At Bob Richards Nissan and the all-new Miracle Nissan of Augusta, this November is our Test Drive for Turkey event. When you come in for a test drive and a vehicle appraisal, you'll receive a voucher for a holiday turkey or ham. And we have no payments until 2020, a 10-year quarter million mile warranty, a 72-hour exchange policy, and two years of maintenance. Go to Bob Richards Nissan or MiracleNissanOfAugusta.com and see why we're different. Schedule an appointment and let us prove it. A beautiful bat would surely help for the best bath you ever had. You need to call us today, and it's done in just one day. Call Bath Theater for the best bath you ever had. Is this the world's best sandwich? Nope. Lance's real peanut butter between two toasted crackers is the best. Pick up Lance sandwich crackers now in bite-sized minis. Like all of us, CNT Foundations believes in getting the job done right, no matter what it takes. CNT protects your crawl space from mold, musty odors, and structural damage so you can protect what matters most. CNT Foundations. Just bands, it feels so good. The biggest Veterans Day sale is at family-owned Just Beds. Save up to 50% store-wide. Luxury Simmons Queen Mattress is now just $3.99. Just Beds is the CSRA's adjustable base headquarters. And right now, save up to $800 on luxury beauty rest mattresses and adjustable sets. Buy in-store or online and get free next-day delivery. Plus, five-year, 0% financing. Nobody stocks more or sells for less than family-owned Just Beds. The strong arm. This may be hard to believe, but that's not my real arm. 
The real strength of the strong arm is the way we fight for our clients, the compassion we show for the injured, and the money we win for you. The WJBF Live Viper 6 Skyview Network, brought to you by Jiffy Lube Multicare. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. And a look at the Jiffy Lube Skyview Network over Washington Road. A clear and sunny morning. It is a chilly one, but we are expecting to stay dry and clear for the rest of your Saturday. So if you have any plans today, it's going to be nice just to remember to take maybe a long sleeve or a jacket or a fleece. Something to keep you maybe warm in the shade especially. But again, we have nothing in terms of precipitation over the southeast. Everybody is dry. We have a high pressure system that is situated and that's going to continue to bring us the sunny skies and the colder temperatures temperatures in the morning 35 degrees right now 31 in Edgefield 28 in Saluda a little warmer to the south 38 in Sylvania 37 in Swainsboro 35 in Millen so we're all in that 30 degree mark and I don't think anybody really wants to be there right now it is coming from the northeast so all of that wind is funneling that colder air down into uh, the CSRA and we're going to continue to see that we have a freeze warning today until 9 a.m. we have a freeze watch down to the south until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning so you you could probably expect another warning coming out for uh, a freeze watch or warning for tomorrow morning again because we're expecting temperatures to be around that freezing mark again 57 degrees for your high today in augusta 56 in aiken and edgefield 55 in salute a few degrees cooler 59 in barnwell bamberg 60 in allendale sylvania will be around that mark all along the southeast swainsboro millen Waynesboro will be around that 59, 60 degree mark, a couple degrees cooler, 57 in Thompson and Gibson. So we'll all eventually get close to that upper 50s mark, but things are going to continue to stay nice. High pressure system is bringing us the uh, clear skies and that's going to continue Saturday night into Sunday as we get into Sunday afternoon. We take that high pressure system, watch it move off of the coast and that's going to bring that warm air from the south and that's going to drive the warm sector. So Sunday evening we're going to see a really quick warm up with some probably some moisture and then Monday it'll be a pretty nice day. We'll see a good amount of sunshine as we go through Monday night into Tuesday as you can see around 4 a.m. That's when we see the front starting to move over the CSRA. We shouldn't see anything in terms of wintry precipitation, but the backside of this is going to be quite chilly Tuesday going into Wednesday morning as that high pressure system moves off over the mountains. It's going to start bringing in that colder air down towards us, so we could definitely see temperatures in the upper 20s for your morning temperatures on Wednesday morning. We're not even going to reach 50 degrees. We should be around 47 for your high on Wednesday but again Monday should be quite nice right around average 71 degrees with that uh, influence from the south that's going to bring some more rain so enjoy Sunday or enjoy Monday but we are going to see uh, temperatures eventually uh, drop back down so nice weekend temperatures are going to be cold in the morning but as we get into Monday and Tuesday things are going to be a little different some rain coming in Tuesday during the day, once that pushes through, you're going to start seeing a, qu a quick difference. The humidity will be gone, and then waking up Wednesday morning is going to be what I would like to call just about frigid. 27 mm -hmm. degrees is, I think, a little too cold for me. But with that, we have the weather question of the day. This occurs when a low-level cold air mass is topographically or topographically, as we okay. have that, trapped on the east side of a mountain range. Is it cold air damming, warm air damming, low pressure damming, or cold pooling? Well, let's see what our friends on Facebook have to say. Lawrence, Tanya, Doris, Rhonda, and our good friend Tammy all said A, so I think I'm going to go with them and say A as well. All right, control room, you got a guess? They're going to go with the same thing. I will have an answer and an explanation coming up at the end of the show. Of course. And sports is next. Sports is next. Current conditions, interactive radar, hourly forecasts. It's all on the Live Viper 6 mobile app. Download it for free on the App Store and Google Play. There's nothing in this world like being a grandma. Devin stole my heart from the first time I held him in my arms. When his daddy passed away, my baby came to live with me. But it's been hard. My retirement check isn't enough to make ends meet, and I haven't been able to find work. It breaks my heart to see my grandbaby hungry. Without Golden Harvest Food Bank, we'd never make it through. 
You can help feed the hungry in our community. Donate today at goldenharvest.org. When it comes to the holidays and events, Waynesboro has something for everyone. Discover the most interesting gifts in beautiful, historic Waynesboro, Georgia. Offering unique gifts like antiques, arts and crafts, and stylish clothing, Waynesboro has it all. For the finest gift ideas and great dining, be sure to make Waynesboro part of your holiday shopping plans. Come see us in Waynesboro, where there's something for everyone. It's the holiday sale at Rooms to Go Kids. Savings time on epic kids beds. Big on style and function, starting as low as $195. Get super sale prices on awesome bunkin' loft beds. Go upholstered beds, sleigh beds. Go bookcase beds, day beds, storage beds. Or score great savings on complete bedrooms in a ton of go-to styles. Plus, get interest-free financing now at the Rooms to Go Kids and Teens Holiday Sale. This Black Friday, the gift you really want is at Nissan's Black Friday event. Save big on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue with available Safety Shield 360 or Altima with available intelligent all-wheel drive. Hurry in now. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models or save up to 10 320 on select models. Employee Pricing Plus at the Black Friday sales event in Thompson. Up to 35% off MSRP on new Rams from 19.3. 0% APR. New Dodge Challenger SXTs. Zero down, $274 a month. Get $1,000 Christmas cash with any new vehicle purchase. New Ram four doors from 21.7. Shop over 600 vehicles at JeepJeep.com. No payments till March. Thompson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat makes Ram buying easy. Now, sports coverage you can count on. Playoffs. Playoffs. That's Week right. one. Week one. I like it. For some schools. Yeah. In South Carolina, South at least. Carolina. Uh, game Night Live Saturday morning edition. Colin Cody, Brandon Robertson. The final sort of full football Friday night. And like we said, some teams in the playoffs, some fighting to get there. Yeah. Uh, you're definitely going to want to go to the website and see all the highlights. We had some walk-offs last night. But we'll show you a couple. Tease it in there. We'll start with our Game Night Live game of the week. The final one of the year. Ashley Brown, John Hart, Matt Lane over in Evans, Grovetown, taking on Evans. Evans trying to wrap up a region, or they already had the region title, trying to go perfect. That was your friend Star Graham with the touchdown to tie it at 14-all, and then more from Mr. Graham. Right there puts Evans up 21-14, to but Grovetown not going anywhere. Corey Bryant over the middle, and it's J.K. Lee breaking away, making it a tie ball game, but a wild play here, Colin. Leighton Lackey. To Victor Ooh. Garces. Takes the pop and keeps going. Ethan Bush knocked him. Or it was Jose Taylor Jose that knocked Taylor. him. Yeah, yeah and he, he kept going. Him. And that leads to this with less than a minute to go. You know, if you make that oh, play, Colin, yeah. just go ahead and snag that game winner. Yeah, and Jose Taylor Hi, again. Guys. That's rough. Hi, guys. He was waving to it. Uh, Evans, perfect <laughs> in the region. 28 to 21. I believe they get Houston County at home. Yep. Potential playoff spot. On the line of Columbia County, the winner of Greenbrier and Alcovey have a chance to keep dancing in 6A first quarter. Here's Brooke Pangle. Throws one down the sideline. Look at that snag by Davin Driscoll. He lays out for it first down. That leads to this one. A one-yarder by Pangle. Touchdown for the Wolfpack. They're up 7-0. Now the next possession for the Tigers. Andre Robinson takes the handoff, bounces to the outside, says, See you later to the Wolfpack defense. He ties the game up at seven apiece. But the outcome of this one, Greenbrier still on top. They live on for next week. They win 21 to 14. Uh, those are good games, Colin, but this one. This was a game. 2A, Bamberg Gerhard on the road against Mullins. Red Raiders up 14-0. Here comes Mullins. They come roaring back. Marcus Chandler to Alum Leggett. Two-point conversion, so it's 14-18. Little later. Damari Platt oh. makes two people miss. Another two-point conversion. All of a sudden, Mullins in front, 16-14. Bamberg couldn't get anything going. Uh, Trayton Snell under pressure, picked off by Nazale Robinson. That was with three minutes left. Mullins runs the clock down until there's nine seconds left. Bamberg needs three points. Bryce Chandler throws it back to Look Snell. That. That's a dumb. Up the field and watch this. He laterals it back. Kavion Tyler. <laughs> The horn goes off. 
The game is over and Barnwell, excuse me, Bamberg Earhart walking it off for the win. 20 to 16 at the buzzer. Playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> Let's go. That's the best play we've seen all year. Almost. All season. That yeah. is incredible. Golly. Uh, everything else is on the website. I want to thank our crew here at Football thank Friday Night. All the hard work they do. And uh, we'll still see you guys next week. A little mini Football Friday Night. <laughs> What's the weather like tomorrow? Who won last night? What's happening around town? Find out at WJBF.com. It's coverage you can count on anytime. America's home place. The home you want, where you want it. This one's for the fans. It's Captain D's 599 fan favorites. It's all the seafood dishes you love at a price you'll love even more. Just 599, and the crowd goes wild when the captain is gone. Captain D's. Adventure awaits, but first you must choose. Pick a next level flavor, neither will lose. I pick smokehouse cheddar. I pick Southwest Chipotle. I love this game. How are we getting home? This is home. Take yourself on a taste adventure with the new Smokehouse Cheddar Barbecue and Southwest Chipotle Filet Sandwich Meals for a limited time only at Zaxby's. And don't miss Jumanji The Next Level, only in theaters. Brakes for Less is the home of the $159 four-wheel brake job. We're talking brakes on all four wheels of any car, truck, or SUV. Fast in and out service. A parts and labor guarantee. All for $159. Plus, if you want to save even more, mark your calendars for midweek because everyone wins on Wednesday and you get 15% off. Nobody beats the Brakes for Less deal on brakes. Now open on Washington Road in Martinez and Peach Orchard Road in Augusta. News Channel 6. Now at 4 o'clock. And America's best-selling cookie brand is announcing two new flavors in, a new coming, in the upcoming year. Starting in 2020, you'll be able to buy chocolate marshmallow and caramel coconut Oreo cookies. Well, both new Oreos will feature real ingredients like caramel cream and coconut bits. Oreos have offered 21 new flavors over the years. The latest offerings have included mint chocolate, pink cream, whatever that is, and even carrot cake. Well, you can enjoy some, uh, I, I personally like the old-fashioned Double Stuff Oreos. Uh, double Stuff has too much cream for me, but I love the thin Oreos that came out recently. Well, that's sad, because I, I take two Double Stuff at the same time and dunk them in the milk, so. <laughs> too I, much for me, wow, my friend. I, yeah, yes. Uh, well, if you are, if you're trying to, you know, hang out with your uh, significant other during cuffing season and enjoy mm -hmm. some, uh, uh, some Oreos, we have the weather question of the day. Occurs when a low-level cold air mass is topographically trapped on the east side of the mountain range. It is cold air damming. Yes, that is the prevalent situation for most of the times when we see those temperatures in the 20s in the morning. Yeah, that's what happens with the brutal stuff. See you at 9.